Hi everybody, so this video is going to go over section 8.2 in Big Ideas Math. Uh, this section goes over constructing and measuring line segments. So this first question here says in the coordinate plane, plot line segment AB and line segment CD given the points, and here are the points here. Uh, there are four of them, so A, B is going to be one line segment, and then C to D is going to be the other line segment. Now, whenever you are plotting points, always start right here at the center. This is called the origin. Uh, it is where the x-axis, the one that goes left to right, and the y-axis, the one that goes up and down, meet each other. So it's right here. Uh, if this was... A point right here, the coordinated pair, would be 0, comma, 0. So we need to plot these up here. So the first one here is negative 4 and 5. So your first number, which here is negative 4, your first number is going to tell you how many to go left or right. You're going to go left if it's negative. You're going to go right if it's positive. So our first number here is negative 4. So that means we are going to go left 4. So we're going to go to negative 4 right here. Our second number is 5, so that means we're going to go up 5, and then we're going to put our point. So again, that first number tells you left or right. In this case, it's left because it's negative. The second number tells you up or down, and in this case, we're going to go up because it's positive. So there's our first point. Our second point is negative 4 and 8. So again, we're going to go left to negative 4. And then we are going to go up to 8. And now we have our line segment AB. Our next one here is 2 and negative 3. So again, that first number tells us left to right. Always start right here at the origin. And we are going to go right 2. And then this time we're going to go down 3 because it's negative 3. If it's negative, you go down. 1, 2, 3, and we're put point C. Uh, point D is 2 and 0, so again, that first number tells us left or right. Since it's positive, we're going right, and we go right to 2. The second number is 0, so that tells us we don't go up or down at all. We stay right there. So now we have our two line segments. So uh, our next question down here at the bottom says, determine whether AB, which is this line, and CD, this line, are congruent. Well, if they're on a graph and they are along perfectly up and down or left and right, all you have to do is count. So from here, we go down one, two, three. Uh, so that is three units down. It doesn't tell us whether it's inches, feet, yards, whatever. So we just call them units. So one, two, three units down. And this one is also one, two, three units. Since they're both three units long, we say they are congruent. All right, so we're going to do that again. Again, we have a point a, a line segment AB, and we have line segment CD. So let's start with A again. Always start right here at the center. It is 6 and negative 1. That first number tells you left or right. Since it's positive, we go right. And then the second number tells you up and down. And since it's negative, we're going down, and there's point A. For point B, it's 1 and negative 1, so we're only going to go 1 to the right, and then 1 down. So there's line A, B, line segment AB. For line segment CD, our first point C is 2 and negative 3, so we'll go right 2, and then down 1, 2, 3, and then 4 and negative 3, so we're going to go over 4, and down 1, 2, 3. So there are two lines. Uh, determine whether A, B, and C, D are congruent, meaning they're the same length. Uh, we don't even have to count on this one. We, you could easily see that A, B is longer, so these are not congruent. All right, and next one here, point A is 8, 3, so we're going to go right 8 and then up 3. Uh, then we have negative 1 and 3, so this means we're going to go left. Uh, 1 and then up 3. So there is line segment AB. For CD, point C is 5 and 10, so we're going to go right 5 and up 10. And then whatever you go up a long way, really double check to make sure that you're still on 
uh, the X number, which here was five. So you really want to make sure sometimes when you go a long way, you might just veer one way or the other, end up putting it over here. I see it happen all the time to kids. So just make sure you're lined up right with the five and the 10. Uh, so the next one here is five and three. So again, we're going to go over five and this time we're going to go up three. All right. Now we have our two lines. They look similar, but I'm going to have to count on this one. So uh, from here we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one is seven units long. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they are not congruent because they are not the same length. All right, number 12, here we have six, negative eight. So again, that first number tells you left or right, it's positive. So we're going right to six and then down to negative eight. Make sure you're still lined up there. And then next one is six and one. So since one is positive one, we're gonna go up. Next one is seven and negative two. So over to seven and down to negative two. And next one is negative two, negative two. So we go left, negative two and then we go down to. So there's the other line. Again, they look pretty similar. I'm gonna have to count on this one. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they are both nine units long, so that means they are congruent. All right, I think this is the last one of these. Uh, so negative five and six, go left to negative five and up to six and negative five, negative one. So again, left to negative five and down to negative one. Uh, next point is negative four and three. So over to negative four and up to three and then three and three. So this time we're going right to three and then up to three. So we have our two lines, let's count them. Uh, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units long. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units long. They're equal, so they are congruent. Oh, no, I lied. There was one more. Uh, so first one here is 10, negative four. Uh, so we're going right to 10 and down to negative four. And three and negative four. So we go right to three, down to negative four. Uh, C is negative 1 and 2, so negative 1 and up 2, and then negative 1 and 5, so negative 1 and up to 5. Uh, this one, you could just look at them. This one is obviously much longer, so these are not congruent. Okay, so that was the last one of those. Uh, let's get to these. In my opinion, at least, these are a lot easier than those other ones. Uh, so this wants us, it says find FH. So it wants us to know the length from point F all the way over here to point H. So we learned about a uh, rule the other day that says that um, if there's a point in between two other points, then from the first point to the middle point plus the middle point to the other point uh, is going to equal the entire line. That is called the segment addition postulate. So if you have two segments, it, they make up the, if you have one segment that's broken up into two, then all you have to do is add each of the parts together to find the whole line. So if this one is eight and this one is 14, then together, they are 22. So all you're doing is adding uh, the two sections together and the two sections together make up the whole line. So that's 22. So here, this first one is 19. This one is seven. So again, all you gotta do is add them together and you get 26. Uh, the, here we have 11 and 12. So we're gonna add those together to get 23. And here we have 4 and 15, so we're going to add them together to get 19. Okay, so here is where it gets a little different. So it's we're still using that um, segment addition postulate here. Um, you're just using it in a different way. So instead of this plus this equals the whole line, now we're giving you the length of the whole line segment and the length of one of the parts and then we have to find the other part. 
So it's just as easy as long as you remember that on these, if you're given the whole line segment and one part, to find the other part, you need to subtract. So 37 minus 13 is 24. And so the whole line here is 22. This part of it is 15. So this last little part here is 22 minus 15, which is 7. And this one, the whole thing is 42. This part of it is 22. So to find this last section, we do 42 minus 22, and it is 20. Now, a lot of times people forget whether they're supposed to add or subtract. So if we think about this logically, we could figure it out. Um, let me jump back to one of these here. So if this small part of the line is 11, we'll, we'll say feet long, and this part of the line is 12 feet long, then the entire line, which is obviously much longer than both of the parts, the entire line has to be longer than each of the parts. So if you think, oh, I need to subtract here, and you get one, well, if just this part of the line is 11 feet long, how could the entire line be one foot long? So that, that just doesn't make any sense there. So if you kind of think about this logically, uh, you'll know that you need to add these together. Same thing with the uh, these here. So if the whole line is 22 feet long, you might think, oh, I need to add these to get the answer. Uh, that would give you 37. Well, if this whole line is 22 feet long, how could just this little part be 37? Again, that doesn't make any sense. This small part of the line has to be shorter than the entire line itself. Uh, so you, that should tell you that you need to subtract to get your answer here. All right, so this is the last one here. Again, this whole thing is 53. Um, I, even though I've said this, I know multiple people are going to tell me that this little section right here is 93 feet long. And, and that just doesn't make any sense. If this whole thing is 53, this little section could not be 93. So obviously it's going to be less than the 53. Um, it's 40 feet less than the 53 to be exact. So if we do 53 minus 40, which tells us that it is 13 feet long. All right, so that is the end of this assignment. Make sure you get it completed and turned in so that I can give you credit for it. Uh, so that is it for this uh, video, and I will see you in the next one.